I think Mother Earth needs to get seduced. We're so focused on her sickness that we framed the entire dialogue about saving her. And while she needs to be met, she also needs a vision for her absolute thriving and growth and beauty and expansion and dare I say, orgasmic nature. There's only one of you and Earth is beckoning to us all the time that there is only one of like her that we know of. That's not to say there's not other life forms, but with what we've discovered so far, there's only one of Earth in this style of body she has. And so how are we gonna participate in her expansion and evolution? And wouldn't we want to, wouldn't any of us who've explored the beauty of a sunset and a sunrise and national parks and mountains and trees and breath of life pulsing through rivers want to experience more of her beauty and authenticity and yes we all were born at a time where she's also raging and speaking but in the same way that as a lover there is extraordinary power as scary as it is to actually lean in closer and listen to your lover and in the midst of that intensity comes the release of her greatest expression if you can be there for it what is possible if we sit with mama earth in this moment if we receive her, if we let her speak and we actually listen, if her cries are not just too big and too scary and too much, which every feminine being, men and women and non-binary people alike are terrified of, of being told that their most wild and biggest expression is too much. And so we all contain it collectively. We contain ourselves over and over and over, even as legal systems and other outer things change. We're so afraid of being seen. And the greatest gift that we give each other is to start to show up and say, you can let that be here. And letting that be doesn't mean I hold no boundary, but it means that I can see you. You don't scare me. That's the kind of way I want to love you. Like, that's hard enough to start to practice with each other, but I just want to offer <laughs> that that's the way that we could start to love the earth. And I want to offer that because if we could learn to love one, we could learn to love the other. If we could learn to love earth in this way and receive her messages, we would actually have a new storehouse to start to love each other. Because loving our fellow humanity is super difficult when we see what humanity is doing to Earth. If you are a lover of Earth, it's hard not to start to hate humanity. If we, ooh, if we really start to listen to Earth and what she's needing and reflecting, she will restore us. If we really start to listen to her expression, she will give us the energy we need to love each other to create what these future generations need to get to continue to fully express. And if we practice loving each other in more radical ways, in ways that can welcome the fullness of who we are and not make excuses for each other, but welcome each other, we also will have the courage, the capacity to listen to something as big and radical as the earth. And we only have one life. She only has one expression. And some of the crazy of this current time period is trying to figure out how to listen to that and how to pay attention to that. On one hand, we could just keep creating division between ourself and her so that we don't have to take it in any further. So that we could try to survive. But that's often coming at the consequences of us having to also stay small because we're having to lie about something. We're having to lie about this, this cry that's coming. And so if we could actually 
give ourselves the freedom to start to listen and really listen to what she had to say, but trust that on the other side of what she has to say is not just that she's hurting and she's in pain, but that she has relentless orgasmic erotic power to unleash. We wouldn't need to also keep ourselves small in her presence. We would activate the most of us, the biggest version of ourselves to even be able to receive that. And we get to fall in love. This has been a Friday reflection. And let me know what comes up here in the